How's it everyone? Welcome to Open Court. So, I am in Japan right now, specifically in Hiroshima. So, I lived here for about seven years and I played a lot of tennis, specifically on courts like the ones you see behind me. So what is this court? This is the most common type of court you will find in Japan and it's called Omni Court. And it looks something like this close up. So as you guys can see, it's basically like synthetic grass, artificial turf with sand sprinkled onto it. So why is Omni Court the most common type of court in Japan? It's because of something called soft tennis. If you guys have not heard of soft tennis before, I don't blame you. It was invented in Japan. It's not very widespread and it was originally created as a basically an easier version of tennis meant for people with physical disabilities. The reason why there's sand on Omnicourt is to help facilitate a bounce because in soft tennis, the ball does not bounce, especially if you slice it, the ball flattens out and it just kind of skids along the ground. The sand is there to help the ball bounce upwards. And so this is the most common type of tennis court you will find in Japan. So I'm sure the question you guys are asking is, how does Omnicourt play? What are its characteristics? Now, I've never played on clay court before, but from what I've heard, Omnicourt plays very similarly to clay court because the sand acts like the clay. It plays very, very slow. The ball does not travel very fast. The sand grains get stuck to the ball. The ball gets heavier. And, be and because of that, people cannot hit the ball very hard. Also, sands tend to clump up in certain areas or along the court. It does not bounce consistently. It has a very irregular and unpredictable bounce, similar to clay. And it also bounces fairly high. So, in my opinion, it plays similarly to clay. I personally do not like Omnicourt all that much because I'm a serve and volleyer and it's very difficult to serve and come up to the net and stop because when I'm trying to do a split step, I can't get a good footing and so I tend to slide forward when I'm trying to hit that first volley. It's also very difficult to poach because it's hard to stick your leg into the ground and explode to the middle. And if I guess wrong, I'm getting past 100% of the time. It's very difficult to recover. It's hard to explode to the ball. It's hard to get a good footing. And so I personally don't care much for Omnicourt, but you know, you sometimes just gotta make do with what you got. And this is the most common type of tennis court you will find in Japan. Omnicourt also has a special type of shoe called the Omnicourt outsole and it looks something like this. It's basically, you can use clay court shoes on Omnicourt, but the Omnicourt shoe basically looks like, you know, rubber spikes. It does a decent job of helping you stop. There's a little bit of traction, but not much. If you use hard court outsoles on Omnicourt, you're gonna slide a lot, especially if your outsoles are worn out. So if you, if you guys do play on Omnicourt, I do recommend getting a pair of Omnicourt shoes. So that's it for this video, you guys. I just wanted to introduce you guys to the most common type of court, Omnicourt, which you'll find in Japan. If you guys are ever here, go pick yourselves up a pair of Omnicourt shoes, find an Omnicourt, and go play some tennis. If you like this content and want to see more like it, be sure you overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an open court.